Hello, my name is Patrick Keeling. I'm going to do a little demo here, uh, something that I taught in my class that uh, is kind of a useful thing to do in COVID times when we're teaching remotely. Uh, it's actually something we teach in the class uh, in real uh, time as well, live, but uh, it's actually kind of interesting that it translates to Zoom OK. So something a little different uh, if you're teaching a microbiology class. Based on this, based on my interest in history of microbiology. And this is one of Leeuwenhoek's microscopes, which is quite a complicated little thing. And so as a teaching exercise uh, years ago, I worked out how you can make your own in the lab so that everyone in the class gets to make their own Leeuwenhoek microscope. And it's made out of paper and it's a lot simpler, but it works surprisingly well. And um, you get a bit of a sense of what microscopy might've looked like in the 1600s when Leeuwenhoek discovered the microbial world. Anyway, I kind of missed doing this uh, this year with remote teaching. And so I gave it a whirl just in my class on Zoom, um, encouraging students that they could uh, try this themselves. And it seemed like it worked fairly well. So I thought I'd show you how to do it in case you're teaching and you're looking for something to do. So what you need is uh, some kind of a lighter that does like a, a hot flame, like these sort of jet lighters that are quite popular. And this is a this is a fairly nice one, and then but you can also buy like a three dollar one at a dollar store. You need some glass. <coughs> um, just for simplicity, today I'm going to do it with a capillary pipette, but there's lots of little filaments of glass that you could use for that. And you need a piece of uh, Bristol board and some other kind of harder cardboard type, type paper with uh, one eight holes drilled in them, and that's about it. So, what do you do first? Um, step i'm just gonna tilt this down and i'm gonna use this ethanol lamp just because i uh, don't have enough hands to hold this so but uh theoretically you can do all this with your lighter uh first step and then, and i should add the ethanol lamp isn't actually very hot so it's not very good for this it's much better to use a lighter so the first step is to heat up a piece of glass as though you're making a micro pipette so you get it nice and mushy in the middle take it out of the glass and stretch it so you get like this nice little thin filament of glass. And now we're done with that. So what you want to do to make the lens is you take this thin filament of glass and break it somewhere, you know, a couple a few centimeters from one of the ends. This is this will allow you to make two lenses. And then you take your hotter flame, Let's start with this the Ronce and see how it works. And you get a, a the jet of flame going, and then I'm gonna lower this into the jet and you're gonna see this big orange comet tail. And that's the glass melting. There it goes. And it will melt into a sphere. You just feed in as much as you like, and then you're done. Okay, so what's it supposed to look like at this point? This is also something really useful, by the way. These lenses that you buy for your cell phone, this is a little bit of an aside. I 3D printed a little mount that goes on the bezel of my computer. These are moment lenses. They're very high quality, but just about any good quality cell phone lens would work. And now this slips over my computer. And this one's a macro, and I use it to show people stuff. So you can just slide it in front of your main lens, and now you have a macro on your computer. So what your lens should look like that you built or that you just made is like this. It should look like a sphere attached to a stick like a lollipop. Ideally, it won't have any uh, bubbles, and ideally, it won't be very much like a teardrop shape. That's a pretty nice one. OK, that's the one I just made. So next step, take a piece of tape, break the lollipop off, tape it onto your thick paper. Looks like that, like that. And, hold, and the lens is pushed up into the hole that was drilled. So you've lined up the hole in the lens, OK? And then the next step after that is you take your thinner piece of Bristol board and you staple it together into a sandwich with the lens in between. And I just actually have one that I've already stapled. But it's very straightforward. You line up the two holes with the lens, and you're good to go. So <coughs> the last step is how do you mount specimens and, and and focus, and that is actually a neat trick with uh, Elmer's um, sticky tack that he used to put up posters. So you see, this is the sticky tack here, and I've mounted, in this case, um, you can see there's an EM grid. Uh, 
And what you do is you put your thumb on it and you pull it forward, pull it down and it pivots away from the lens, push it up, it pivots towards the lens. And so you've got your mount and your focus mechanism is just made of a piece of sticky tack. And it works really well. So now when you have your lens, you just hold it up to the light, put a specimen on it and um, focus with your finger or your thumb. The other great thing though about doing this on Zoom is it turns out that you can demonstrate um, with your webcam. So this is one of those, in this case, I just stuck the piece of glass onto a single piece of Bristol board. It's not sandwiched. It's just stuck over the hole with a piece of tape on this piece of Bristol board. Uh, as you can see, it's just a tatty old chunk of Bristol board with a couple pieces of tape that I hope are still sticky. If they're not, this is going to fall off. But you can line this up on your webcam. Just eyeball it like by looking in the screen and seeing what it looks like. And it should look like that. And then oh, I forgot to show you. I will show you later. It's important to have then another light source. In this case, I'm just using a cheap IKEA desk lamp. But it's an LED light that points straight at the at the uh, screen. I'm just going to line it up a little bit better. The little things you see off to the side are actually the paper um, fibers. Now I'm going to hold a, a just a slide from a, a vendor up and you can see the microbial world on your webcam. So these are radiolaria from the ocean. These are the skeletons of different kinds of radiolaria. There's three nice ones right there. There's some more, lots of different kinds of radial air on this. This is just, like I said, a fixed slide of skeletons that I bought at a teaching warehouse sort of thing. Lots of different kinds of radial air there. Here's an old school uh, diatom fixed slide for teaching, like where they've lined them up and there's text that you can read. Oh, sorry, it's upside down. But you can see the different diatom frustrals there. And then here's the last one I'll show you. This is a fixed slide that we made. That's the gut of a termite, Peronea termi simplicornis. And um, you can see the different, just a second, I'll find a nice little batch. There's a nice one. You can see the flag, the, the parabasalin hypermastigotes there. Those big ones in the middle that are kind of teardrop shaped are um, uh, pseudo trichinympha pertii. It's named after the drummer from Rush. Make taxonomy fun again. Okay, oh yes, the light source, just a cheap IKEA light, but you need something pretty bright or you get a kind of a dim image. So that's it, takes a couple minutes, doesn't cost any money. It's a nice little bit of entertainment in the middle of a Zoom lecture to break things up. Uh, I think it was pretty popular with my students and I hope it's helpful. Good luck. Good luck teaching in general. <laughs>